Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is The Best of EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. Just yesterday, I asked you guys to share your EDC photos in the EDC Photos channel over in the Discord. I haven't looked at it, but I was told that it's pure chaos, and I was told that there are a lot of really great submissions, but I like doing it this way because it's more organic, it's more natural. These are my real reactions to the photos that you guys share. Uh, but I was told there were some really great ones this time. But before we get started, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Beard Brand. Don't be fooled by the name, they offer so much more than just beard care products. They have things like shampoo, cologne, combs, scissors, and grooming kits. So even if you don't have a beard, Beard Brand probably has something for you. And what they're trying to combat is what they call scent confusion. And that's what happens when you have a shampoo and a soap and cologne, a beard oil, and all these different grooming products, and they all have different fragrances. And sometimes those fragrances can clash. So with Beard Brand, you can get their fragrance sampler, which has all six scents that they offer in it. And then you choose your favorite. And once you do, you can have a shampoo and soap, beard oil, cologne, and all sorts of other things, all with the same scent. I've been using Beard Brand for probably close to a year now, and they recently sent some more fragrances to me that I hadn't tried. Honestly, not a single one of them smells anything short of incredible. They all smell so good. So if you want to get started with Beard Brand and support what I'm doing here, hit the link in the description down below and use coupon code BESTAMED see at checkout for $25 off the starter kit. And thanks again one more time to Beard Brand for sponsoring this video. A few episodes back, I announced I was giving away this Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Pro Organizer in black. I randomly selected a winner. The winner is Jason Secord with this comment right here. To keep the trend going, I'm gonna give away another Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Organizer. And this was in a limited run of the camo. I don't think he still offers this one. This was, it's been in a drawer for a while. I will explain how you can enter to win this Pocket Pro later on in the video. All right, let's get this thing started. This is the EDC Weekly. I am so hot, I'm sweating up a storm. And let's do the damn thing. All right, so I announced this around 2.30 p.m. yesterday, and uh, we're just gonna scroll all the way up to 2.30-ish. Get as close as I can, but uh, my understanding there are a lot of submissions this time. Here's a pretty cool photo. This one took some setup. This comes from Rabbit. He has a hanky panky handkerchief, an Aviate Flyboy watch, an Olay i5T EOS, a uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife band, hanky panky solid cologne, a Spyderco UK PK, a Picaroon Tools Kraken, and then a Copper Fisher Space Pin Bullet. But the photo itself is just so, so cool. I mean, that's what really sets this one apart. Uh, everything is floating. It's just a really, really neat photo and something like this takes some time to set up. If you're interested in how this would work, basically you can tie things up with like fishing line and then in, in Photoshop, you just delete the fishing line. Uh, but that doesn't make it any less cool. It's just a really cool photo. Here's one from Dakota Life. He has an Olay i5T EOS, and then he has a custom Shimori in three inch variant, but uh, I already happen to know that he sold this Shimori, so he no longer has it. He has a tactile turn titanium with a Timascus bolt, a Bertucci A2T watch, and then underneath everything is an Ace of Hanks Koi handkerchief. He's in the server talking about how he wants a custom Shimori. He got this one and then he sold it. And I don't know why, I don't know why you would do that if that's a knife you wanted. There's often no explanation for what some of the people in the knife community do. Fight tooth and nail to get something they want, they get it, and then they turn around and sell it two days later. Anyway, really great gear. Uh, I just thought that was kind of a funny story. I know I've talked about this guy before. His This is from Watching Carry. His name is Michael Guy. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, but when I was doing the most recent video on the $150 budget video, I mentioned, totally edited it out. <laughs> I don't know why, just in a hurry, I guess. But I mentioned Michael because those Casio Royales or World Times, he does modifications to them. And uh, that's what his channel is mainly about. It's just really cool stuff. And that's one of the reasons I got that world time was to modify it or at least have Michael modify it for me. Anyway, in this photo, he has a Casio AE 1200WHB-3BV. On that, he has a gold medal bracelet from SKMEI. Watch, I'm not exactly sure who that is. He has a masking of three yellow subdials off different model Casio. Bottom negative display using zero degree linear polarizing filter. Just so cool. I mean, he does all sorts of really cool stuff with this. And then the, the knife in the picture is the Victorinox Super Tinker with aftermarket green scales and a pin insert. And then the light is the Rovivon Aurora A1. Really cool stuff. Always love to see stuff from Michael in here. He's been a long-standing member of the community and he does really cool stuff. Oh, here's a here's a nice little uh, moody photo for you. This comes from Black Flag EDC. He has a Karung Snake money clip wallet and a Damascus fob keychain from Anvil Customs. 
There is a Titanium Morbid Mouse Mini from Giant Mouse Knives, a Best MDC exclusive TPT slide. Hey. He also has a Savimvi Elementum in Damascus and Carbon Fiber, and then Pulp Wars Handkerchief by HBG Hanks. Very moody photo. I've I've really been digging the moody stuff lately. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, if you go back through my Instagram timeline, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. The more recent you get, everything just gets so, so dark. And uh, it wasn't exactly intentional, it's just, it's just how it goes sometimes. Carrying on that green theme from the $150 carry I just did, this comes from Matt's. He says, my Dutch EDC summer 2020. He has a Walter Wallet, Slim Wallet, gunmetal with custom engraving. He says his trusty old Zippo lighter, an Apple Watch 5, 44 millimeter with a speaking case slash strap. He has an iPhone 11 Pro midnight green in matching speaking case. Uh, Power Beats by Beats in Moss Green, Jim Dunlop Guitar Pick, Jim Root Signature Model, Julius JUIM00 Glasses, and then Wee Knives Double Helix Bronze slash Black Blade. I've actually not seen that Wee Knife. That's actually pretty, pretty interesting looking. Is that a different kind of lock? I'm very confused by it. Maybe it can't lock. I don't know. I don't know the knife laws where you are, but really cool. Glad to see a little, uh, a little green carry put together here. Nice stuff. All right, here's one from Orlando or Dex of the Void. He has a Wii Roxy with custom engraving and bronze Ragnar bead, a Wii TP-02D bolt action pin, a Coke Tools KTC2 with Wii black tie bead, and then a Midnight titanium key bar and a Dango Maverick titanium wallet underneath everything. And there's also a key fob for an Alfa Romeo, which you don't see very often. I've seen more and more Alfa Romeos lately. I actually got behind an Alfa Romeo 4C a while back. I know that car did not review well, but it's still such a sweet car. I'd love to drive one someday. Here's a different carry. This comes from Soups. He has a Waro Knives Dragon Scales on a Victorinox Hiker. I've not seen really any scales from Waro before. I mean, I know he makes them, but I've not seen them uh, submitted to the show before. He has a Big Idea Design bit bar in Stonewash Titanium, Waro Knives Tactical Fish. What a name, Tactical Fish. A Firefly 15 handkerchief and then a Big Idea Design mini pin also in Stonewash Titanium. I really like those scales on that Victorinox. Those are really nice, like fish scales almost, or dragon scales. It is dragon scale in the name, dragon scale not fish scales. <laughs> Literally just said dragon scales and I said, hey, it looks like fish scales. No, it's dragon scales. A lot of new names here this time around, which is really, really neat. And then what's amazing is that the Discord server is at almost 10,000 users. That is just incredible. So amazing. It's grown from what it was. Most of you guys don't know this. Even a lot of people in the Discord don't know this. That Discord server has been around for like five or six years. And for the longest time, there were like a hundred members, maybe five or six were really, really active. And it was just kind of like a little hangout that I had for my last channel. And then it's kind of just even just this year, it's blossomed into this. I think late last year, it hit like one or 2000 uh, members. And then this year, it just kind of blew up. It's been really wild lately. It's it's a great place to hang out. I love hanging out in there every day. Here's one from Nick Dovgi. He has a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass version 2.5 with a fade anno, a Koenig Arius Gen 4 blue patterned carbon fiber, Urban Survival Gear TIE Scribe, a Swiss Army Knife Classic SD with Crossworks titanium scales, and then not pictured is a titanium key bar and titanium spine wallet. I don't know what the spine wallet is. And have to look that up. I feel like I've seen it before. I feel like I should know what that is. But before we go any further, I guess we should do the wrist and pocket check. I totally forgot to do that at the beginning of the video, but on my wrist today, I have the Marathon TSAR 41 millimeter. Talked about this in my EDC update video recently. If you wanna know more about this watch, go watch that video or stay tuned for a watch collection video. I've been talking about doing it for a long time, but I'm going on vacation next week. And then when I get back, one of the very first things on the agenda is a watch collection video because mine is finally stabilized. I've stopped buying and selling watches. I'm very happy with the collection and it's finally time to tell you guys about it. Also in the pocket today is none other than the Vero Engineering Synapse in Bacon, Damascus. He only made 10 of these and this is one of those 10. So uh, pretty rare. And if you wanna get one of the other ones, he's raffling them off or lottery. I'm not exactly sure what's happening over in his newsletter. Just follow Vero Engineering on Instagram and uh, you can learn more about how to get one of these if they're not all gone by now. I'm not exactly sure. Also carrying something a little different today, something I've talked about doing for a long time. I'm carrying a fixed blade and that's because I can carry this one legally in North Carolina. This is the Pena X-Series fixed clip, fixed clip, clip, clip fixed. 
I don't know exactly what he called it. I think it's the fixed clip, but basically it comes with a little sheath with a clip on it, which means I can put this in my pocket and it still shows. It's, it's open carry technically. So I can legally carry a fixed blade. I really like the idea of this because if I'm doing food prep with something like this, bearings in there, you get gunk up in there and it just messes up that action. You have to clean the knife out. With this, you just rinse it off and you're done. Put it back in the slip. That's so simple. And I really love the idea of that. Uh, and I may do a full month of carrying nothing but a fixed blade and it would most likely have to be this one. But if you wanna see that, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And one last thing, since we're already paused here, uh, let's talk about how you can enter to win this Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Pro Organizer. Basically, comment down below and tell me what you would put inside it. What gear would you carry inside this? That's it, and I will choose a winner at random. Here's one from Gupta Shea or Shy. Swiss Army Knife Cadet Alox 2020 Limited Aqua Blue. Love how it pops. The big idea design, best MEDC TPT slide. A. He also has a Shire Post Mint One More Episode Go to Bed Coin. Phoenix EO1 AAA Fisher Space Pin Bullet in Brass and Arc Company Boulder Wallet. A Kingston Flash Drag for schoolwork. Under Everything is a Hank made by myself, and lanyards are inspired by Taylor. Really cool to see. I love seeing you guys carrying these TPT slides. Um, I still have one in my pocket. I've got too many knives on me today, but uh, I, I still carry this thing every day just because, again, it's hard to not carry something that's got your logo on it. It just feels really cool to, to pull something out of my pocket and be like, hey, that's mine. It's not, not mine in that I own this, but that's my product. That's, it's just cool. It's just, a, it's just a cool feeling and I've not gotten over it yet. May not ever, I hope I don't. Anyway, thanks for sharing. Here's a carry from Redeemed Creations who is a maker in the channel. So if you don't know this, I have several people in the channel who are makers. Leather workers, there's people who make coins, all sorts of other stuff. Urban Carvers is in there as well. And, and Redeemed Creations is one of those guys. If you see like a little leather tray in my photos on Instagram, I bought that from him. If you are interested in a tray like that or some other leather work, go check out Redeemed Creations or just check out the maker tab in the Discord server. You can buy stuff directly from people within the community, which I think is probably one of the best parts of the community is that maker tab. Anyway, in this photo, we have a Redeemed Creations Company Slim Wallet, Paramilitary 2 with Sabaris Knives, OD Green, Micarta Scales, and Custom Stonewash Blade, Tops Knives, MSK 2.5 for the fixed blade underneath that, a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 2.5 Maker's Choice, and then a Dangerous But Good Patch. Love to see the makers participating in this so I can actually give them a shout out like this. Uh, go check out that tab. Do me a favor, if you do nothing else in the Discord server, go check out that tab. And if you're looking for gear, try to buy from them first because they're really good people and they're part of what makes this community so good. Woo, here we go. This guy has been posting some really, really awesome photos. This comes from Adam Duvall. He has an Okluma DC-1 in copper which I'm sure that thing weighs a ton, but I would carry it too, because it's just so sick. With green afterglow, a leather slip made by himself, an oak worry gear made by him, and Oz Machine Company Roosevelt, the number 57. That thing is really, really sick. Great Eastern Cutlery, number 47, Pruner Harvester Gabon Ebony, uh, Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.5 Stonewash, and everything is on top of a yellow floral hank made by him. Uh, that Roosevelt is just such a sick, sick knife. I really want one. Great Eastern Cutlery. I love Great Eastern Cutlery, but Swaybacks are whack, man. I don't like Swaybacks at all. We have so many discussions about this in the server. I don't like Swaybacks. I can't get on board with them. None of them. I don't like any of them. Oh my God, we've been going this long and I've only made it to 324. We've gone like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. We're gonna have to skip forward. Holy crap, there's so many. Whoa, okay, we got one from EDC underscore Liam. He has a Peter Recenti Nirvana 2.0. So if you missed the Spyderco Nirvana and you've been unable to find one used, you can buy a Nirvana from Peter Recenti, who is the original designer, but these, these custom Nirvanas are very pricey, but they are sweet. I, I tend to like them a little more than the Spyderco Nirvana. I've gone back and forth on that, but he just gets really creative with the newer ones because they're customs. But uh, also here is a Ridian Native, an Okluma DC-0, and a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass with a Scoopy Loop Speed. That, that Nirvana is really nice. Really nice. Wow, thanks for sharing, man. Here's one from Sir Knight, who I think they had their baby. I know he was in the hospital yesterday. They were waiting. If you've had your baby by now, congratulations. If not, hang in there. It's being in the delivery room is unlike any other experience in my life, but it's an amazing experience. And, and the day after and the weeks after are just incredible enjoy. And in this photo we have, uh, he said, 
Today's the day for my first baby. Again, congrats. Can't carry in the hospital, but Sabenza 21 with natural inlays, hitch and timber, pocket organizer with zero feud pry bar, and best MEDC Giltech Rock and Citizen Eco Drive Avion. Um, again, awesome stuff here. Congrats. Ooh, here's a cool one from Spino Driver. Spino, Spino Driver, I guess. He says this is the Masterwork Orange EDC. TIE Scribe Bolt Mini V2 in orange, an ARC Company Boulder Wallet in black with a Giltech Ruck in the side, as well as a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass. He has a Walmart Key Dangler next to the wallet and bead. He has a Himmel Night Ops uh, HMN02 watch. Not familiar with that at all. Spider Co. Para 3 Cutlery Shop Exclusive, a Raylight Gemini, his car keys, a Leatherman Squirt, an Ole i3e EOS, and then a Pelican 1200 Series case with all the foam plucked to fit all of this gear specifically. That, sir, is one of the coolest things I've seen submitted to the show yet. That's just a really solid black and orange carry in an orange Pelican case with everything plucked to fit this gear. That is just really neat. Kudos to you, sir. Here's one from Electrical Flow, a Strider SNG with an Atwood Magnum bead, a Convoy S2 with an 18-352, that's the flashlight, obviously, an Atwood Shutterberg, a Rotring 600 mechanical pin, or Rotring uh, 600 mechanical pencil, a Moleskin notebook, a pair of dice from Frontier Hotel in Las Vegas. We're gonna assume you were gifted those dice and you didn't steal them. But regardless, uh, really cool black and red carry here. I like to see these colors and pops and not just all titanium or all black. You know, it's, it's, it's nice to see little pieces of things put together like this really well. Here's Pocket Dump Diary. The knife here is a David Moiser Mercator, Mercator uh, with brown micarta scales. The multi-tool is a Brassworks Farmer X. The pin is a tactile turn side click in zirconium. The watch is a Tudor Black Bay with crown and buckle chevron strap. The torch is a Bugatti Vulcan. Then the cigar is an Arturo Fuentes Grand Reserve. And the handkerchief is an, a generic Amazon brand handkerchief. And then wallet, he says none today, using Samsung Pay on my Galaxy S20. What a carry. Wow, that is... That's some really nice stuff there. And then here we are at the end, I caught up. It's Jay McMull 2. He says, new knife day, small Sabenza 31 with micarta inlays. It's pretty familiar, sir. He also has a usual bronze all access pass 1.5 from Lynch Northwest and then the Grimm's Mo Saga. He says, hope y'all have a good one. Yeah, hope you do too. That's really, really nice stuff. Anyway, thank you all for submitting. If you did not get featured, I'm sorry, maybe next time I'm gonna keep doing these. I'm trying to do them more and more frequently, but I also wanna keep them interesting. I don't wanna do the same thing every time. So I've always been trying to mix it up, change things up, make it interesting. And uh, I think the EDC Weekly as we know it, I'm just gonna keep formulating and, and testing and experimenting and trying to come up with new things. If you've got ideas, let me know for what do you think I should do with the EDC Weekly. I could go back to, and do another scripted one. I've not done one like that in, in a long time. So if you'd like to see that, let me know down below. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. I'm gonna link some of the best things that I saw in this video down below so that you can click through and purchase those things if you want. If you do, those are affiliate links and I've got a little bit of a kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You can also support by going to patreon.com forward slash bestmdc or carrycommission.com. That's my website where you can buy gear and merch directly from me. You can also go to carry.best if that's easier for you to remember. But also follow us on the web. You can find us most places at Best MEDC. There's a Facebook group and a Discord server, obviously. Those are linked down below if you would like to join those places. The community off this channel in Facebook and Discord, they're both really, really great. So I highly encourage you to join there. But with that said, and until next time, carry on. Hey, look. Look at that. I actually drank the whiskey this time.